someone else I trusted to send, so that you could remain near. But there is no one else, and the Spymaster was right to insist that I send you. The plague has taken so many, and we must find a cure. When you are near, my heart is at peace. Emily and I will count the days until you return. Hurry home, and bring good news. Steady hand. That's it. Watch it. Cast off line. Casting off. We're away. Take us straight to Dunwall Tower. Lord Corvo has news for the Empress, and we've come a long way. A long way to bring bad news. The sailors say there's a curse on us. Black magic. Superstition. For all we know, there's a cure for the plague by now. Maybe. We live in strange times. Sending the Empress's bodyguard away for a couple of months. That's unusual. Well, this was important. We need help with the rat plague. Next time? Yes, yes. The pressure was too low. All these new Hello, sir. Corvo, you're back. Will you tell me about your trip, please? Were there any whales? Wait! Let's play hide and seek first. I'll cover my eyes and you hide. You have time? Mother's busy talking to that nasty old spy master. Okay, here we go. Corvo? Welcome home, Lord Protector. Stop moving, Campbell. And you, Corvo, welcome back. Wherever you've been. They sent him all around the Isles to beg for aid. A waste of time. My elixir will banish the plague from this city. Now keep still a moment, High Overseer Campbell. Your own. She'll see you at once. They're sick people, not criminals. We've gone beyond that question, Your Majesty. They're... They're my citizens, and we will save them from the plague if we can. All of them. Very well. We will not speak of this again. Mother, Corvo is back. Thank you, Emily. Leave us, please. As you wish, Your Majesty. Corvo. Two days early. Full of surprises, as usual. Follow me, Captain. We should leave them alone. Fair wind that brings you home to me. What news have you brought? I 
I hope that one of the other cities had dealt with this before, knew of some cure. This news is very bad. We're at the breaking point. Cowards. They're going to blockade us. They'll wait to see if the plague turns the city into a graveyard. Are you okay, Mother? You seem sad. Yes, don't worry, darling. Mother is fine. Wait, where are the guards? Who sent them away? Mother, look! What are they doing on the rooftop? What? Emily, come here! Thank you. If you hadn't been here... No more! Not again! Mommy! No! Get away from her! Corvo! Uh, 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 Mommy! Uh, get away! Corvo! Corvo... It's all coming apart. Fine. Find Emily. Protect her. You're the only one. You'll know what to do. Won't you? Corvo. Ward us all. Look at what he's done. Yes, he's killed the Empress. What did you do with young lady Emily, traitor? Her own bodyguard. Ironic. I'll see you beheaded for this, Corvo. Take him. Chance, Corvo. Sign the confession and let me give you the rights to put your spirit at ease. Ah! Ah! <sighs> That's enough for now. Get out. Let's give the man some time to think. Corvo, the Empress is dead. Her daughter Emily is hidden away, and no one will ever know the truth. Yes, unlucky you. Tomorrow you'll be executed, but it's for a good cause. This country needs strong leadership now, someone to guide the weak. And that's where we come in. There was nothing personal in this, even though you almost sank our plans. But it turned out well. You were in the wrong place, at the right time. And someone has to take the fall. Goodbye, Corvo. Guards! Take him back to his cell. You should eat, Corvo. This meal comes from a friend. Got eaten alive at cards. You always amuse me.
So many people are coming to the execution tomorrow. It's on account of Corp. The one who killed the Empress and abducted her daughter, Emily. So it's an occasion. Right. Social event for the high and mighty. Come see the noble Lord Protector get his head chopped off. They're as bad as us betting on the dogfights. Attention. The solitary wing is off limits to maintenance crews. Unless accompanied by an officer of the watch, escort through the solitary wing must be scheduled in advance with one week's notice. be restricted to the personnel assigned to the event and approved dignitaries only. Isn't critical, 
but it might be useful to us later. The assassination of an empress is not a trivial matter. assigned to the event and approved dignitaries only. Ackworth, you lazy slug. Did you patrol the yard? Sorry, not yet. I was gonna report that boiler leak from yesterday. Forget it. Just do your rounds. The report's trouble for both of us. I'm moving. Still crying about that dice game? You always amuse me. <clears throat> Corvo's execution is tomorrow, right? Yeah, but everything has to be set up today. I can't Attention. see his The solitary wing is off the Not everyone did, but I really like Unless the accompanied by an officer of the watch. Escort through the solitary wing must be scheduled in advance with one week's notice.
use some kind of explosive to blast his way out. That doesn't happen by accident. You think he had help? Who'd know how to do that? Bottle Street gang, man. Watch for booby traps. Could be some down here by the look of it. Good. If we're lucky, one of them will get Corvo. You're afraid of him? He's Sir Conan. It's all merch. Are we supposed to load the bodies into carts headed to the flooded district? Yeah, so screw that. That's too far. I don't want to catch the plague, do you? No. Doesn't the elixir prevent it? Maybe. Either way, let's just dump them down there. Like the rats in them. Dunwall citizen, the assassin Corvo, responsible for the murder of our fair empress and the disappearance of Lady Emily, heir to the throne, has temporarily escaped state custody. Any evidence as to his whereabouts must be delivered to the city watch at once.
won't get past me, sir. Do you know who we're hunting here? Don't try to take him out alone. But what if no one from the squad is around? Then try to make a lot of noise when you die. Knock something over if you can. Bastard. Smells like a dead weeper in here. Hey, what was that? No, I heard something. I don't know what it is. They come here to die sometimes in the dark. Just slip into the water, don't come out. Let me know if you want to take my patrol. Blow off. I'm Samuel, and I work for some good people who want very much to meet you. Well, they said you'd come out here, but I could still hardly believe it. I'll take you to meet them, just down the river from here. This is the Hound Pits pub, closed for business. Half the district marked off is dead from the plague. We're right under the Lord Regent's nose, and he don't know a thing. Of course, if anyone finds out what we're up to, the watch will break in with swords drawn. And now that you've escaped, the Lord Regent's going to be tearing the city apart. 
take you up to meet Admiral Havelock and the rest of the Loyalists. The Admiral's a man to be reckoned with. If anyone can help you find that missing girl, Lady Emily, and clear your name, he can. I expect they're hard at work in there. Best join them. They'll help you get whoever really killed the Empress. So it's starting at last, Admiral. We can continue this later, Lord Pendleton. The man of the hour is here. Corvo, I'm Admiral Havelock. A true servant of the Empire, like you. Until the Lord Regent purged those of us who wouldn't recognize his claim on the throne. And I'm Lord Trevor Pendleton. I represent the nobility in our little group. But we all act as equals here at the Hound Pits pub. This is a momentous occasion, Corvo. I'm going to come out with it. We've been building a coalition of loyalists, aimed at ending the Lord Regent's tyranny and restoring the throne. At risk of execution, we're committed to finding young Lady Emily and seeing her crowned as Empress. We've got big plans, but we can't do any of it without you. We need your skills, your ability in a fight, and in helping us, we're going to help you destroy the men who murdered the Empress. Sorry, you must be exhausted. We can discuss this further after you've recovered. But before you retire, you should introduce yourself to Piero. He's challenging at times, but his industrious mind buys him that right. Yes, Piero's as much an artist as a technician. He's going to be crafting the gear you'll need. Go talk to him, and then get some sleep. We can talk more when you've rested. The Weeper count for the month of seeds has increased. The Lord Regent has decreed that plague ordinances will remain in effect through the month of rain. Stay alert and stay loyal. Good to have you with me. your weapons and gear, all custom work. For you, I will create the tools of the master assassin. No! This cannot happen now. The tank of whale oil's run out. Will you get a new tank from upstairs, please, while I hold this in place? Be careful. The oil's unstable. When it explodes, there's a terrible mess. Body. 
I could build a tank that would slowly increase pressure on a subject over a long period of time and then observe them for years if need be to see if the formulation of energetic substances develop. Surely the Empress would be able to furnish me with facilities subject to the necessary legal amnesty. Plug it in. Perfect. Thank you, Cole. Here, see? The assassin's mask. You're a wanted man, so everyone in the city knows your face. But this mask will mean terror to them. If you just hold still, fit must be precise. There. Can you see normally? Send the lens out of alignment. There. Better now? I could create more for you. Upgrades for your gear, weapons, munitions. But our situation here is desperate. Scavenge the city for valuables, and I will resell them on the black market. That should give us the money to craft the things you need. Tell me what I can make for you. Life will get even more difficult soon. You should rest while you can. Sleep well. Hello, Corvo. Your life has taken a turn, has it not? The Empress is dead, her precious daughter Emily is lost somewhere in the city, and you will play a pivotal role in the days to come. For this I have chosen you, and drawn you into the void. I am the Outsider, and this is my mark. There are forces in the world and beyond the world, great forces that we call magic. And now, these forces will serve your will. Use this newfound power, my gift to you. Come find me.
days that follow, your trials will be great, Corvo. Seek the ancient runes bearing my mark in the lonely places of your world, and at shrines raised in my name. These runes will grant you powers beyond those of other men. To help you find these runes, I give you this, the heart of a living thing, molded by my hands. With this heart, you will hear many secrets, and it will guide you toward my runes, no matter how they may be hidden. Listen to the heart now, and find another rune. This place, this place is, is the, the end, end of all things. And the, the beginning. beginning. How you use what I have given you falls upon you, as it has to the others before you. And now I return you to your world, but know that I will be watching with great interest. Inspect your neighbor's faces closely. If there is any sign of blood on the eyelids or cheeks, you must notify one of the city watch. Early stages of the plague involve blood. And can also be remedied by liberal consumption of socialized liquor. Once you came from the eyes, death is inevitable. All suspicions, regardless of severity, must be reported. Should I clear space for Samuel then? If you like, but he won't use it. Why? He can't sleep in regular beds anymore, or that's what he says. Says he was in the Navy too long. Can you believe it? Oh. That pile of wood out there? It's a hobble he built from an old rowboat. Where does Admiral Havelock find these people, I wonder? I had a sailor for a boyfriend once. He thought he'd strike gold digging in the Pandisian cliffs. They found his ship drifting empty. Attention Dunwall citizens. 
Do not attempt to house or care for a friend or family member who shows signs of blood on their face and chest area. The only way to help them is to bring them to the city watch. They will... Well, let's get down to it. First off, I know that assassination is dark business. But sometimes, good men have to do bad things to make the world right. Our purpose is clear. We want to restore Her Majesty's line by finding and putting Emily Caldwin on the throne. To those ends, we'll hide, act in shadow, take them apart, piece by piece. Tonight, High Overseer Campbell dies by your hand. It won't be easy. He's protected by his overseers, an army of religious zealots. But if anyone can do it, you can. Your exploits are legendary. Campbell carries a private journal. Once you've eliminated him, get the journal, because we think it contains Emily's location. Recovering her is obviously critical, assuming she's alive. That's the gist of it. Remember our cause and strike true. We're counting on you. Another thing. Campbell is holding a former overseer by the name of Martin. He's one of us, and if you manage to find him, give him whatever help you can. He's a master strategist, and he got caught working for our cause. It'd be good to have him back here at the house. Oh. Corvo. Hello. I'm Callista. I work here for Admiral Havelock. I'm sorry to intrude on your business, but this is important. I suspect you're going to kill the High Overseer. That wretched man. There's really no reason for you to listen to me. But my uncle, Jeff Kernow, still serves as captain in the City Watch. But he's a good man, and my only family. The chatter in servant circles is that Campbell just took delivery of an exotic poison, and I think I know why. My uncle's not corruptible like the rest of them. Campbell is going to poison my uncle. Do you think you could protect him? You used to do that, right? Before you had your current profession. Before you became an assassin. Ready to go? Just give the signal. It'll be a rough trip. It used to be to go straight up Clavering Boulevard, but now it's not so easy. Half the city's dead of the plague. The other half's fighting over what's left. The City Watch still holds the bigger streets, and they've set up those Wall of Light checkpoints. A man walks through one of those, and he ends up burned to a crisp. Everything not controlled by the City Watch is gang territory. Then there are the real odd birds living on the fringes, like that Granny Rags. They say she's nuts. Don't know which is worse. Just take your pick. Keep working. Well, he ain't moving no more. <laughs>
One, two, three, <sighs> heave! Good. Keep them coming. One, two, three, heave! Sorry, I can't help you. I don't know this area well. <sighs> Two, three, heave! Good. Keep them coming. Attention, Dunwall citizens. This is a special announcement from our honorable Lord Regent. This is the Lord Regent speaking. It is with regret that I announce that my term as Lord Regent has been extended through the month of harvest and potentially beyond. In addition, in this continuing crisis, the overseers of the Abbey of the Everyman remain in service to the state and are empowered to enforce order whenever and wherever necessary. We all are in to pass me by. All the others, down with the sickness. Attention, Dunwall citizens. Please clear the area when a motorized carriage or stilt walker approaches our business. Be advised that such vehicles will not slow or stop to avoid citizens obstructing the way. I told you the knives go on the left. They've always gone on the left. You never listen. I think the little birdies are sad today. Dear? Is that you, my dear husband? Uh, 
My eyes aren't what they used to be. Have you seen my little birdies? Oh, the dear things must be starving without their granny. Here, birdies. Here. Oh, my, my, my. I think I have gentlemen callers again, but not the way I used to, not the nice ones. I hear them, and they're not very polite ones either. Granny Rags, Granny Rags, let us in. Ah, oh, well, they'll go away again if they know what's good for them. But what a bother. Here's the key to the front door, love. You'll see to those ruffians, won't you? I told you the knives go on the left. They've always gone on the left. Come on, let's get this. Get this bastard of Here you are. Let's see what's inside. I'm gonna loot your core. I think the little birdies are sad today. Be careful, Corvo. They call her Granny Rags. You wouldn't recognize her real name, or even the name of her family. But an emperor begged for her hand once, and rich young men fought each other for her favor. I watched her consider them all, measure their worth, and find them wanting. Then, she made a different choice. You're on your way to face the High Overseer, the leader of a great cult dedicated to loathing me. What will you do, I wonder? Check you over. And there's an inspection fee. What the? <coughs> Somebody, get over here. Uh, I'm gonna. <coughs> Anyone there? <coughs> I owe you, brother. I won't ask about the mask. I wouldn't want my face seen either, pulling a stunt like that. You know what? I'll return the favor. Come by Griff's shop. That's my business. Well, it was, at one time. But now I'm reduced to scavenging things from here and there as the city dies. If you need anything, I wouldn't mind trading for a little money. Maybe someday the plague will blow over and everything will go back to normal. But until then... It's scavenging for me.
I knew you'd help me with those ill-mannered boys. My brave man. Listen, Granny has a birthday present for you. I got it from the outsider, and now I'm giving it to you. Go on. It's upstairs. On the vanity. I think you'll cut a nice figure with it. Remember how we used to dance? Our parties were even grander than those at the Boyle Manor. Everyone wanted to come. Oh no, that's not a nice thing. Just garbage. Garbage, 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 garbage. All of it. I hope you like the little gift I got for you. It's the least I could do for turning those louts away. I can't bear these Bottle Street children. Ruffians, every last one of them. Rotten apples. And that slack jaw is the worst of the lot. You know what I just thought of? You could do something else for me. Another little favor. And I'd give you another present. Another lovely rune carved from the bones of a dead whale. Do you remember my doctor, dear? Dr. Galvani? Now there was a clever man. He's got all sorts of nasty rat guts and disease in his laboratory. Wouldn't it be a shame if some of that mess found its way into the Bottle Street Gang's elixir still? That'd teach him. See to it, dear. I'll find you another present just like the first. Galvani lives on Clavering Boulevard. Or at least he used to. Those were the days. Now run off. My baby birdies are hungry. So precious. Hmm. But they're shot. You'll have to go. Or I can feel the agent. It's just ridiculous. Stupid rats. What was it? Help! Just disappeared. You won't stay hidden for long.
Giovanni's lab? Yeah, I think so. Then you have to scrub. The rats get their vital rest. That means guts? I think so. So your hands need scrubbing. You're unclean. Unclean? That's nonsense. Can't we just... No, I told you. With rubbing alcohol or white vinegar. All right, all right. What is he doing there all day? Ambrose says he breeds rats that carry the plague. Their friends are ignorant. The doctor is a brilliant man. If anyone can save this city, it's him. The royal physician is going to save us. Meyer's new elixir is twice as good against the plague. I don't understand how Galvani can admire Sokolov. Royal physician or not, I hear tell he's a beast. A superstitious philanderer who spends more time with prostitutes than he does in the lab.
Can I buy your ration of elixir from today? Shut up. Sorts with crazy stuff. Bone charms and threat shit. You, you got lucky. When you're this handsome, you don't need luck. Face like a hagfish. Pay up. Don't be sour. Say, 
When's Slackjaw coming down? Not till the next batch of elixir's done. You'll want to check on this. Then you better get all your shit together, huh? Everything's fine. I run the still like I run a game of... Not that. Plonky sound, that's what's going to You sure he wasn't drunk? Says he still hears it at night. He never did find his brother. The noblemen laid in the scullery maid. So loudly they may sweat rise. The nobleman's wife to the butcher. Carve herself <laughs> days of blood. <laughs> oh, I get it. The wife doesn't cut them both, right? Yeah. Oh, let me think. What the fuck are you looking at?
Shut up. Someone's mess with me. Come on, spread out. Must have been nothing. Anything to smoke or eat. Blow off, Chopper. I knew you wouldn't disappoint me. Now I can stroll along the waterfront in peace. And don't think I've forgotten your little gift. Go on upstairs, dear one. That will never wash. Never, never, never. They are burning whales. She wouldn't put the crackers on the right side of the tray. So
cold as a whaler's gaff. Hey, you! Here you are. Come on, let's get this guy! Let's see what's Watch! Yeah! Get him! Gonna feed you to the rats! Somebody, give me a hand. This is gonna hurt. Someone's about to get you.
second day is... What a <sighs> Feels good to stand up straight. <sighs> Thank you, Corvo. What you're here to do tonight is of the highest importance. We've got to find Emily. So kill Campbell and make it quick. Once it's done, search his body for the journal. His notorious black book. And get out of there. Campbell is meeting with a guard named Kernow. And word from my informant is that Campbell is going to poison him. Maybe you can use that to your advantage. All right, I won't be of any help here, so I'll make my own way back to the Hound Pits pub. If I see Samuel the Boatman, I'll tell him to pick you up in the backyard, behind the office of the High Overseer. May all the spirits guide you, and may our enemy's head hit the floor without you taking a scratch. It sounds painful. Have you ever seen the ritual? I've never seen the heretic's brand used. No, it's a rare occurrence. But I did spy the face of one so branded. A former member of our order, of course. Out on a retreat, we passed through a fishing town and saw him bathing. What were his crimes? Who can say? The brand is reserved for an Die. overseer. Or even the high overseer himself, who violates our she must be cast out permanently. Remember the seven strictures, and you never need worry about such matters. I will, brother. Guards, to me! Yes. How did we lose him? I know you're here. When I find you, it's going to be bad. Feed your heart to the hounds. How did we lose him? Curse the outsider. Black magic! Where are you? I know you're here. I know you're here somewhere, scum. All right. 
You get off this time. Catches us in here. I've told you a hundred times. Campbell is upstairs meeting with the captain of the watch. He'll be busy for hours. Now keep looking. And I've told you a hundred times, Archer, that I am certain he keeps the black book on his person at all times. We went to the trouble of breaking into Campbell's sanctum for nothing. Shh, listen. What was that? You can stay and find out, but not. which he hopes to defeat the righteous. He is patient, for he waits every hour and every day of our life, weakness or carelessness, that he may enter our hearts. He is subtle, for many do his work, and he is strong, and only by utmost striving can he be resisted. He is various, for there are seven gates
those fools in Coleridge for letting Corvo get away. Who knows what the man could do now? Hiram, or the Lord Regent, as he asks us to call him now, seems to have faith in all the Sokolov security devices he's put up all over the city, but I'm not so sure. At least the girl has been moved to a safe place. Visiting her twice a week has given me ample opportunity to inspect the facilities, as they say. So there's an upside, at least. speaking to the empty air, or laugh, or cry without provocation. Perhaps a disfigured man may come to acquire after her. Or you might discover small items in the house, brand new. Overseer Sturgis, is the outsider a winged serpent? Well. get caught in the lockdown last night? Six hours. Search the place top to bottom, and nothing to eat but the swill we hand out free. Of course we didn't find anything. Did I ever tell you, one time one of the second floor shutters got stuck open, and I thought I could slip out? I couldn't find a way down. By the time I got back, it had snapped shut. <laughs> I spent the rest of lockdown out on a ledge. <laughs> Maybe the outsider was watching. to the beginning. It was Martin's plot to break him out of Coldridge. That's clear enough. But why the Corvo? The one man feared throughout the Empire. He's as skilled as... I trust you, Triplers. 
Uneventful. I hear the watch is having trouble holding the side streets. But a chew. Playing games, that's all it is. Good, good. And your niece, Callista, isn't it? I know sense. She'll be found. My men are searching district by district. The poor boy. Callista's a resourceful one. Probably found a safe place to hole up in all this chaos. If my overseers hear any word, I'll come straight to you. I trust your trip was uneventful. I hear the watch is having trouble holding the side streets. Bunch of children playing games, that's all. Good, good. And your niece, Callista, isn't it? I'm very concerned. My men are searching district by district. Servants must have been in here. Let me see. It seems I have the wrong one. Not that one. No. Ah, here we are. Now, if you join me. Men will come get you when we're finished. Keep each other entertained in the meantime. I don't understand how this got so unpleasant. Oh, I agree, I agree. A whore dies, and suddenly this. Will you have wine? It's a Tivian Red. Thank you. What on... Who's been in here? I owe you an apology, Captain. This is hardly the hospitality I planned for you. Well, time to do this the hard way. What was that, Campbell? Never mind. It's a stroke of luck for you, Captain. I'm forced to break out the real vintage. Leave the men here. But we'll have to share with all of them. <laughs> Very well, Campbell. As long as we get this little dispute settled. Many a chastisement in my youth. I know you're here Many indeed, stuff. and not loud. Bad. 
I know you're here somewhere, scum. Where are you? I know you're here. Sharp, we got a prowl. What was that?
my sister. She's not a witch. I know her. Out of the way. You expect preferential treatment just because you are her brother? She will burn. All witches must burn. Someone's over there. Get going down! <laughs> you appeared as if from nowhere. We would both be dead if not for you. We are forever in your debt. I cannot thank you enough. I must get my sister to safety. But first, I may know of a way to thank you. There's a safe in the bunkhouse. The combination is two, zero, three. Take what you want, and good luck. You're just feeling off, that's all. It's no use. I'm sick. I can taste blood. It's been days. You know what you have to do. Stop it! I'll give you my share of elixir. Nonsense. I don't want to bleed from the eyes and lose my mind. I don't want to spread the plague to anyone else. Don't fall prey to restless hands. I'm asking you to do this. Because you've known me for so long. Can you do it? Will you? Yes, my friend. I will. Before you weep. Before you bring down the rest of us. Thank you. Turn your back, my friend. Recite the seven strictures. I will make it fast. Restrict the wandering eyes. That look hither and yonder for some flashing thing that easily catches. What brings calamity in the next?
Hey, Corvo. It's Samuel. From the way I hear it, Campbell lived a pretty posh life. Maybe it's not my place to say, but men of the faith shouldn't live like barons. Are you ready to go? Okay, let's go. Pendleton are in the courtyard. I expect I'll want to congratulate you. He's alive. Thank you, Corvo, thank you. My uncle's a good man, and one day he'll prove it. Here. I know you did this for the right reasons, but I want you to take this as a reward. It's an old heirloom one of my aunts gave me. They're all corrupt. If this is going to work, we have to take down the Lord Regent Attention. and all, all his citizens out. living on the you north know. side of the river. Yes. You did it. Somehow you took down the High Overseer Campbell against the odds. I knew you were our man, Corvo. With Campbell gone, we've hurt the Lord Regent immeasurably. And with Martin back, we'll have the finest strategist alive. The Lord Regent must be shitting himself in Dunwall Tower. Yes. And Campbell's journal, let's not forget. Our hope is that in these encoded pages, the location and condition of Emily Caldwin can be discovered. Our entire movement will mean nothing if we can't place the rightful heir on the throne. We must act fast. No doubt the Lord Regent is holding Emily somewhere, waiting to reveal her, to step out as the hero and further cement his regency. If he doesn't bring the young lady forth soon, there will be infighting among the nobles as to who should succeed the Empress. Yes, time is against us. But now you should take a well-earned rest, Corvo. We will decipher the contents of the High Overseer's journal and share them with you later. I know the golden cat. 
not as a patron, mind you. I designed some specialized devices for them. Kept blueprints, if anyone is curious. Don't. I brought you tea as a courtesy to a colleague. I won't make that mistake in the future. I'm sorry, I only thought... Never mind what I thought. Thank you for the tea. I have to get back to the Admiral. He has news for me. I expect Martin will be joining us shortly. I hate to start your day with such a strange matter, but the servants heard something last night, moving through the storm drains beneath the building. Most likely a weeper, the poor bastard. There's no hope for them once the plague gets that far along. Nothing more than a shuffling corpse full of sickness and insects, if you ask me. I'd appreciate you investigating, just to be sure it's not a nosy guardsman that's getting too close. Here's a key to the hatches. I'd send a servant down there, but they'd die of fear on the spot, I'm afraid. Maybe Piero can concoct some sort of sleep poison for your crossbow if you want to go that route.
you went down there in the sewers? I thought I heard a weeper in there earlier. You're probably the bravest man I've ever met. Overseer Martin has arrived. He's with Admiral Havelock now. They want to talk to you. Corvo, my friend. Do you need ammunition or weaponry? Would you like me to craft something for you? Corvo, I trust you remember Martin, an overseer before and perhaps again someday soon. I owe you thanks for my rescue. Indeed, you've given us a glimmer of hope, Corvo, because we've gotten what we've wanted from Campbell's journey. You've done it. We know where Emily Caldwin is being held. The Golden Cat, of all places. A bathhouse for aristocrats. Little better than a cursed brothel. But there's an unfortunate twist. It appears that Pendleton's own kinsmen stand in our way. The twins, Morgan and Custis. Not only are they controlling Emily, but they have the controlling parliamentary votes we so desperately need. Yes, the Pendletons have to die. But most importantly, Emily must be brought here safely so we can protect her until the Lord Regent and his entourage have been dealt with. Pendleton's waiting for you on the dock. He's asked to brief you personally. I think it's best. Corvo, a moment if I may. I'll take you to the Golden Cat when you're ready. I've taken Lord Pendleton enough times, believe me. I'll get you as close as I can to the Golden Cat, Corvo. You'll have to go the rest of the way on your own. The entrance is near Holker Square. The main thing is to make sure that little girl, Emily, gets back all safe and sure. Them two Pendletons are there, so I'm guessing there'll be a lot of guards. Slackjaw might have some ideas on helping you get inside the cat, if he don't kill you. This here's his territory. He and his Bottle Street gang hole up at the old Dunwall Whiskey Factory. They sell the elixir that folks use to fight off the plague. I'll lay low, but keep an eye out for you and the little lady you bring him back. Good luck to you. I know Emily must mean a lot to you. Be careful going up the street, Corvo. A river hand I know pulled up alongside me last night and said there's one of those watchtowers on Clavering now. I guess you're getting rid of Campbell, sir.
Attention Dunwall citizens, Thaddeus Campbell, formerly High Overseer, is no longer a citizen of Dunwall. He now bears the Heritage brand, and by one of the oldest traditions of the Ascan the Ever. Hey, you're just the man I was looking for. Slackjaw's wanting to talk to you. That him? Yeah, he's the one. Hey, we got a message for you from Slackjaw. He wants to talk at the distillery. I don't think they're gonna last much longer. That's what they get for taking free swigs from the still. That tainted elixir is bad stuff, I guess. It's what they call it. Black job be waiting for you. Easy, easy. You just need a bit. Ain't you heard? Slackjaw keeps the good stuff for himself. Rest of us get one part elixir, three parts water. Oh, that's just to make the swallow. He is a villain if I judge your looks aright. A villain I might have some work for. Somebody put plague in the brute tank. Half my men are weepers. Trapped three of them in the distillery. Rest are wandering in the street. Since it's so and I find myself short of able bodies, I may have a point of interest for you, see? Way I figure it, there ain't nobody worth killing round here except those two Pendletons over at the Golden Cat. I'm right, ain't I? See, slack your nose. Them boys are twins. Rich, mean, and weird. Worse than most of their ilk. They've been laying low there a while, not sure why. There's a lot of security at the Golden Cat tonight, though. Special guests and the like. But you're gonna walk in there, dressed like that, and kill the Pendleton brothers? Maybe I got a better way to take care of them, too. If you're doing something for me first, understand? Someone, I don't know who, is killing my men, taking my territory, stealing my goods. Might be a fellow name of Galvani. I sent my best man to investigate, but he went missing and... Well, now I need someone to find what happened to him. Go to this Galvani's place. He lives nearby off Clavering Boulevard. You do that for me and I'll get your better way into the Golden Cat. What a mess, huh? Whole town's on the track. Look out for the watch. They got no respect for laws. Got anything to smoke or eat? Huh.
such a charm. I saw. Not a big deal. Maybe you can go up later and take a look after the mother two are gone. solving who killed him. Personally, I'd buy who did it a drink. But what are you gonna put on your report? I'm gonna say we found one of Slackjaw's men inside, all dead and bloody, and that you are a stinking idiot. Squad after what? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, 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 wait a bit. What just occurred to me? 
How come it's always me who pay for the whiskeys? Shush up your mouth. You know I can't work out the right number of coin. It's embarrassing. Information for my missing guy. Let's have a listen. Blackjaw, it's me, Crowley. I'm making this in case I don't make it back. He was right. There is someone once you dead. Wants to take over the distillery and the whole Bottle Street gang. And you'll never believe who it is, neither. At first, I did. That's why it taken me so long. I wanted to be sure and What's that? Arden! No! No! Ah! So Kral is dead. Too bad. He was one of my best men. Still, you and me had a deal, and Slapjaw never goes back on a deal. Take this key. It ain't for the golden cat, no. This key's for the captain's chair. A hotel abandoned since the plague gutted this part of town. Take the stairs to the top. You can use the roof to get into the Golden Cat Brother. See that? Slackjaw keeps a bargain. Just as good as the men who run the city. Maybe a little better. You think about that. Now maybe we can help each other out again. I could get rid of the Pendletons for you. Quiet-like and without killing them. But you gotta do something for me in return. The cat's having a big reopening tonight. Lot of money clients. Including an arts dealer named of Bunting. He's got particular tastes, or so I've been told by some of the ladies. Got some pretty fancy stuff locked away at his place. And the only thing preventing me from nabbing all that loot is the combination to his safe. Of course, the Pendletons have been camped out there for months too, not sure why. So that means a lot of the city watch and other soldier types. Bring me that combination, my masked friend, and then I take care of the Pendleton brothers. Just like that. You ain't never even gonna touch them. And I promise, I won't kill them, and no one will ever see them again. Now if that ain't a deal, Slackjaw don't know what is. <laughs> Got anything to smoke or eat? Huh. citizens. This district is now under a mandatory whale oil ban. Compliance will be strictly enforced. Like you get elixir. We've been on half rations for a week. I ain't catching the plague. Hand it over. No, please. It's for my baby. He needs it. It's us that needs it. If the city watch gets sick, how are we gonna protect you? No, I need it for my little one so he won't get sick. <laughs> 
Thank you, thank you, sir. You saved me. How can I thank you? I have nothing. Wait, take this. It's the backdoor service key to Bunting's house, the art dealer on the main street. I used to work for him, you know, before the plague. He's let all his servants go, but he's still there. Probably hoping he'll be able to sell something from that safe of his. I don't know what he has left, but it's all I have to offer you. Please take it. What? Attention, citizens of Dunwall. The Lord Regent has ordered strict whale oil rationing in this area. Failure to comply will result in immediate arrest. Trying to make a living. Now what? See something? I've lost track of him again. Morgan's in the steam room downstairs.
that nice girl again. The one I told you about. You're the really ones are at the Golden Cat. Right? Dunstan, the yeah, Pendletons are here. They're supposed to be on duty. Come on. They're supposed to be on guard. They'll get dismissed for sure. I can't believe this. You said you weren't even drunk. Wake up! Finally. I've been like this for 20 minutes. Your footsteps sound a little loud. Have you gained a little weight, Bonnie? Now, just like last time, understand? Slowly, and only triggered... Oh, 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 that's good. I deserve that one. Shall I tell you why? The Pendletons are here, right? I'll start with them. I've cheated them, robbed them of thousands. Oh, you're ruthless. Don't hold back. I'll tell you everything. The Pendleton's inheritance was worth hundreds of thousands at least. I told them it was junk. Ah! Ah! Retribution! Retribution! Ah, that was perfect. But it's all I can take for tonight. Call my servants. We're done. Ah! We're done, I said. Retribution! Now let me out! Who is this? What do you want? The safe. Yes, of course. The combination is 138. Take anything you find. I think I felt my heart skip. Outsider's eyes, I'm getting spooked.
things are forbidden. Damn it! Morgan will be in there all night. More coin for us. Make even more if they didn't blow it on prostitutes. What the? <laughs> <laughs> Exactly right. They state that the conservative position gets an extra three votes. But not in the month of timber. Is that true? How on earth do you know that? Did you think I was born a court as a I was a clerk to Lord Estermont. Before. What happened to old Estermont? The rats did. An old sewer line led under his office in Parliament, and one day it flooded, and they all came rushing out. They say the other lords barricaded him in to save themselves. The screech. you now. I need more men. Let's go. Nasty cherry belt. When I find you, it's gonna be bad. Forever. 
ever. that mask. Corvo? Corvo, it's you! You're wearing a mask to sneak around, aren't you? They, they, they told me you were head chopped off in, in the prison, dead, like, like mother. That seems like a long time ago. But you're not dead. Now we can leave. I have a plan. I almost got away twice. There's a special door to come and go for special people, and I'll show you. And if anyone tries to stop us, you can fight them. It's this way. Unlock it so we can get away from this place. This place is on the river. So you must have come by boat. I'll wait for you near the boat. I remember the way. Don't worry about me. Dragged off by the overseers?
Come on. Come to dinner now. That's right, my sweet little birds. Come to Granny. Granny won't hurt you. It's good to see you again, dear. But don't dally, or that young girl might fall in the river. Anything to smoke or eat. You brought me the numbers. I've been after this combination for months. If you ever need steady work, you come see me. Slackjaw knows a good man when he sees one. It's only natural that you'd be curious about what I intend to do with the Pendletons. See, them Pendletons got these rock mines. Have hundreds of souls working down there half a mile deep below ground. So I'm gonna shave their heads and cut out their tongues and put them in one of their own stinking minds. Then they're gonna see life from a different angle. Are you both ready to go? Corvo, you must have worked wonders out there in the city tonight. I can't believe my old eyes. So you did the business, did you, Corvo? 
I'm not one to speak against my betters, mind you, but if anybody ever deserved their fate, it was those Pendletons. What business are you talking about? Oh, I, uh, grown-up business, girl. I mean, your ladyship. Forgive me. It's okay. I heard a lot of grown-up business at the Golden Cat. Oh, I should concentrate on piloting this boat. Young Lady Emily, I'm Callista. I'll be caring for you and schooling you while you're with us. Pleased to meet you. As am I. Would you like to see your room in the tower? Can I see it? Yes, you may. You'll get to see it all. The entirety of the Hound Pits. Good. I think I'll like it here. I'll go with Callista, Corvo. I'll see you later. You do not fail to impress. Armed with a blade, you've changed the course of the city forever. And with the Pendleton twins gone, our own Lord Pendleton will assume their votes in Parliament. In one night, you've done more than most men do in a lifetime. I need to speak to you soon. But for now, Lord Pendleton requests your attention. Ask me for any gear you need. Corvo, the Loyalist Conspiracy thanks you for your work. I don't know if I can. My own brothers. We never believed that you killed the Empress. It made much more sense that the Royal Spy Master, now the Lord Regent, was behind it, aided by some of his key allies. We spent a lot of money and exposed ourselves to great risk in getting you out of prison. But we did it because we believe that you're the one that can make the difference. Oh, and Havelock's looking for you. Attention. Supplies of Sokolov's elixir have reached a critical low point. Ordinary citizens will be limited to purchasing half a dozen. All right, my friend. Martin's devised our next move. There's a footnote in Campbell's journal that tells us the Lord Regent's mistress sat for a portrait with Sokolov, the painter and royal physician. He'll be able to give us her name. Sokolov lives on Caldwin's Bridge about half the time, out over the river. The catch is that I'm afraid you've got to head out right away while Sokolov is at his apartment on the bridge. Samuel can get you close to the bridge, but you'll have to find Sokolov. Bring him back here intact and it'll enable us to make our next move. I can't believe what you've done so far. Escaping from Coldridge, taking down the High Overseer, recovering Emily. You make this old military man proud. That's it then. Off to Caldwin's Bridge, sir. We'll get our sleep later. 
Just climb aboard when you're ready. What do you think, Corvo? Caldwin Bridge. You've been in the city for years, but you lived in Dunwall Tower with the late Empress, so maybe you haven't visited the bridge before tonight. Something to look out for. See all them lights on the water? That's right. We'll be spotted for sure. You're gonna have to shut off their power before I can pick you up. Now, about bringing Sokolov back alive, he's smart. Maybe even smarter than Piero. Got the whole of Dunwall under his thumb with all that natural philosophy business. New technology, potions and the like. Seems dangerous to me. But what do I know? Here we are. I'll meet you at the arches under Sokolov's place when you're ready, Corvo. Assuming, of course. Severely deadly beating. <coughs> Citizens and visitors to our city. By order of the region, the curfew is now active. No foot traffic is allowed across all. Citizens and visitors to our city, by order of the region, the curfew is now active. No foot traffic is allowed across Caldwin's Bridge until curfew is lifted. Attention all citizens, no pedestrian movement is allowed along Caldwin's Bridge during this period. Curfew will end tomorrow morning at sunrise.
look around. I guess everything's tickety boo. You gotta be here somewhere. Rounds over here? and visitors to our city. By order of the region, the is now active. No foot traffic is allowed across Caldwin's Bridge. Attention all citizens. No pedestrian movement is allowed along Caldwin's Bridge during this period. Curfew will end tomorrow morning at sunrise. and visitors to our city. By order of the region, the curfew is now active. No foot traffic is allowed across Caldwin's Bridge until curfew is lifted. Attention all citizens. No pedestrian movement is allowed along Caldwin's Bridge during this period. Curfew will end tomorrow morning at sunrise. Curfew. How is anyone supposed to make a living? Well now, Mr. Pratchett. Even a wealthy man like you needs the city watch. Gangs are cutting throats and smashing windows left and right. And the weepers, excuse me, the plague victims are worse. Are you saying the Lord Regent is wrong for imposing curfew? It won't do you any good to bait me, officer. But don't worry. I'll be fine. I'll profit. A smart man can come out ahead. Sure, like that Sokolov. He's doing fine.
Rivers change course over many lifetimes, and eventually all bridges tumble down. A thousand years ago, there was another city on this spot. The people carved the bones of whales into runes and inscribed them with my mark. Children still find them washed up in the river mud. Anton Sokolov has made a great study of my runes, but he's not special like you are. He wasn't chosen, and he doesn't wear my mark, so he can't unlock their secrets. Sokolov believes there are specific words and acts that can compel me to appear before him. He searches old temples in Pendicia and ruined sub-basements in the flooded district. He performs disgusting rituals beneath the old abbey. But if he really wants to meet me, he could start by being a bit more interesting. Touch the charger and left for the leading district. Okay, good. Can't lose any more men to the arc pilot. Touch the charger before your shift when the friends are by. And the arc pilot on the prize. Give me the willy, sir. You'll be thankful when Slackjaw's boys come down the street to slip you. It'll be fun to watch him turn to ash. There was a time when we didn't see these things to keep a gang of kids dead. I think it's time. The lights are working perfect. I know something's up. Yeah, it must have been nothing. Maybe wind or something. Someone's still around. Keep banging around. Come on, spread out.
one there. Someone's about to get shanked. I know you're here. Where'd you run off to? Remember, guardsmen. We must make sure they keep turning. It would look very bad at the record. Very bad indeed. Should the factory shut down in your watch. Yes, sir. thinking again, have you? No, 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 sir. Not, not thinking. I was just wondering, if Sokolov is testing elixirs on people to cure the plague, why is it he always asks for help as citizens? If you follow my meaning, sir. You have no mind for natural philosophy. Obviously, it's because the ones already sick with plague don't live long enough to provide Sokolov with useful information. It's just a shame, sir. Like that woman the other day. So
I was just asking if you heard the screams too. Of course I've heard them. I would be more worried if there were no screams. What's that? A riddle? A word game? Okay, so... Why would no screams worry you more? I now turn my hopes and energies to Formula 25, which in conjunction with a high heat therapy, which came to me most vividly, in a cage, like an animal. The pain is horrible right now. So I'll just hide in a corner and leave when I'm feeling better. position himself. He made a neat job of it. Drop him here and we'll be off. Set up a cell for Sokolov in the old kennel. Shackles and everything. It'll be a shock him waking up in the straw and old dog poop. But from what I hear, he's woken up worse places. Guess we all have at that. I doubt a dozen soldiers could have done it better. Sokolov's knowledge will enable us to strike at the Lord Regent directly, and ultimately help you get your life back. Soon, we won't have to hide in the shadows. The Royal Physician is brilliant, but he was a fool to protect the Lord Regent. Sokolov gave us the elixir, the war machine. He could have made us a great nation. Now he pays the price for siding with a tyrant. You have my thanks, sir. If you wish to get some sleep, now is a good time.
Normally, I'm a natural philosopher, but today, consider me a humble craftsman here to serve. Attention, citizens. This evening, the streets adjacent to Pendleton Manor... Lord's Custis and... Now fall to Lord Trevor Pendleton, who... You were making funny faces while you were sleeping. I decided to nap here in your room while Callista was taking her bath. She told me if there's ever trouble, I should always run here. Callista will come get me when she's done with her bath. Thanks, Corvo. It makes me feel better. Attention Dunwall citizens, the Ascendancy Circle has chosen Teague Martin. I know it looks... I was inventing a new kind of lock. The tumblers, shaped like snowflakes. The truth is, there is no snowflake lock. I was just, you know, looking through the lock. I couldn't bear it if she knew. I know you're a man of honor, and I also know that you can kill me at any time. And for both of these reasons, I apologize and beg for your discretion. Can't you see I'm about to bathe? I understand. It was an accident. We have such a hard time maintaining privacy in such a crowded house, don't we? Attention Dunwall citizens. Be aware that looting of evacuated areas is a serious offense and will be summarily punished by officers of the watch. Display your pride in Dunwall by respecting the property and rights of others in these trying times and preserving the timeless beauty of our... Royal Physician, I believe you and Corvo knew each other in former days. Unlike you, our friend Corvo knows what loyalty means. <laughs> I am loyal to my inner spirit. You are the one consorting with the most wanted man in the Empire. It's my belief that Corvo was innocent in the death of the Empress, and the former spymaster, or the Lord Regent, as he calls himself, is a ruthless tyrant bent on destroying this city, the heart of the Empire. You are mistaken if you think there is love between me and our Lord Regent. But whatever you intend to do here, I assure you, I am beyond petty scare tactics. 
If I don't scare you, Sokolov, perhaps these rats will. Even if they don't carry clay, I've heard of a swarm of rats stripping a child's body to the bone in half a minute. I've heard worse. How long do you think it'll be before you talk? Before you beg to talk? Rats! Is that the company you keep now, Admiral? It's the company you keep that interests us, Sokolov. We know you painted a portrait of the Lord Regent's mistress. The very aristocrat who is funding the military with her fortune. She is the key to the Lord Regent's control over the city, and we must have her name. Sorry, Admiral. I cannot help you. You're part of this rabble, but I know you have your reasons. Yes, he does. All we need is the name of the Lord Regent's mistress. It's very simple. I elect not to tell you. You will have to force the words from me, and I warn you, my willpower is quite legendary. Sorry, Sokolov. No, not that. Stop! Stop! I will tell you what you need to know! I'm obliged to safeguard Dunwall's greatest intellectual asset. I can only tell you so much. I was not permitted to see her face or hear her full name. She called herself Lady Boyle. You see, I painted her from behind. I assure you, she still makes a striking portrait. But I do not know which Boyle she is. I was to be introduced to her at a masked ball in her honor this very night. But I will miss that party, it seems. A masked ball at the Boyle Estate. Tonight, the timing is perfect, Corvo. But the Boyles are wealthy and ruthless, so security will be very tight. Of course. You already have a mask, don't you, Corvo? Yes. You will be able to mingle with them once you're on the grounds. You'll have to find out which of the Boyle women is connected to the Lord Regent, and take her out whatever way you can devise. We're very close now. Corvo, if you do this tonight, we'll be able to strike at the Lord Regent himself and put Emily on the throne. May the wind favor you. I hear you're off to the Boyle's little bash tonight. I have just a tiny favor I'd like to ask you. Could you give this note to Lord Shaw? You'll know him. A rather brusque man wearing a wolf's mask. In fact, he may be looking for me. I knew Sokolov would see reason and tell us what we need to know. He never actually liked the Lord Legion. The Boyle costume ball, huh? Well, that'll be fun, but not for everybody. You ready? stops for the Boyle family. I didn't think there'd be tall boys patrolling here tonight. Watch yourself, Corvo. They don't fool around. The good news is, once you get to the party, that mask of yours will let you blend right in. Enjoy your evening out with the folk of quality. Better you than me. Is that what you dreamed of, all those months in Coldridge Prison while waiting for the Executioner? 
wealth, beautiful women in the latest fashions, laughing and drinking Tivian wine. And what of the host, Lady Boyle? I can see all her tomorrows, and I know that either she dies tonight at your hand, or she'll live out her days, month after month, year after year, far away, even as her fine clothes wear into tatters and her silken hair gets dull and gray. Half the city can see the lights from the party and they dream of the delights inside. Will you tear it all to pieces? Either way, it's Lady Boyle's last party.
Boyle Estate. Yes. Pendleton? Hmm. What's he got to say to me? Pendleton is a gutless lying sack of shit. I hope he's paying you well for this. It's damn cold tonight. Hurry up, and let's see what you're made of. Lord Pendleton's representative will select his weapon. A contest of honor will take place between this anonymous gentleman acting for the challenger Lord Trevor Pendleton and Lord Shaw, the challenged party. You will each turn and proceed to the marked positions and remain facing away from each other as I count down from three. You may then turn and fire Get at on will. with it. I'll kill this fool and we can all go back inside. Sorry, my lord. We shall proceed. Stop! Stand right there. Three. Two. One. And that's another patron dead. What do we do now? It's lucky we're in the man. I hear the Estermas pay night? top coin. Indeed, I believe so. No use trying them tonight. Let's see if we can find a little brandy. Let the boils clean up the mess. Please enjoy yourself. The party's Inside. indoors this time. Hello. The boils hope you. Careful. We tried for a peek upstairs, and the man on duty is an ass. I should have taught him some manners. This party is a sham. I'm sure he's just doing his job. A party like this, anyone might have crept in. Excuse me, my cousin is a Marquis. Of course I don't mean you, but people are desperate, and the Boyles are awfully wealthy these days. Nonsense. Waverly just hires officers from the Watch to impress people. Your obsession with the Boyle women. Will it never end? Welcome to my party. I don't believe you've had the pleasure. You? A gentleman? I'll have you know I'm as gentle as I need to be in any given situation. As I think I've proven. I told you not to bring that up. There's a great deal I could offer you. Don't be silly. The room... <laughs> Bless you. Try Miss White in the moth mask. I hear she's lonely. Can't say they didn't have a coming. Even if you should see this as an opportunity. To what? Learn a trade, join the city watch. Your house built its fortune in crisis. You can do so again. Land is worthless now. Hold on, I need a cigar. I'm not here for conversation. Please, do you mind not time. interrupting us? Oh. One sister's in red, one in white, one in black. I'm stumped. My wife thinks we should... I know your mission tonight. We must speak. Privately. I'm a friend of Pendleton's, and I've done a few favors for your cause. I know your purpose here tonight. And, how to say this... Your target is the woman I love. I swear that if you'll bring her to me unharmed, you will never hear of her again. There's a cellar directly below the kitchen. I'll wait for you there. I'm not proud of this, but surely it's better than seeing her killed. Her name is Lydia. I won't harm her, I swear. I'm a man of means. Just bring her to the cellar and I will keep her safe with me. Forever. Trust you're behaving yourself. 
Hello, Sir. enjoying, enjoying yourself. yourself. What a deliciously sinful mask. Hello again. Excuse me. Oh, leave him be. It's a party. You're a scandal in that mask. I like a man with poor judgment. Would you get me a drink? I'd be so grateful. What most people don't remember is, the rats came a half a year before the Empress Things died. Things are bad. Could the city get any worse? Are you sure? Chances are very That's not good. how I remember. If something caused this, it's not the Doing excuse. Right there? Come and entertain me. Thank you so much. Now, how can I thank you? Are you playing Lady Boyle's guessing game? Well, I know for a fact that Enjoy. Waverly's in black, my darling. In mourning for her reputation, I expect. Additionally, Lily is in red. Now tell me yours. Save my life. From what? Are you ill? against the Lord Regent. He's the only one holding this together. Are the new applicants as weak as the last set? Some of us no, will be no, no. Lord Brisby Boyle. has arrived. Now, excuse me. No guests past this point. Things have become so much better for us since the rats came. Not that I'm in favor of it, morally. You found her! Quickly, let's get her on board! Last. Oh, my love. Someday you will understand. You'll never know how happy you've made me. Someday she'll learn to appreciate me. After all, she'll have her whole life.
Things are bad. Could the city get any worse? Chances are very good.
hope you enjoyed your evening, sir. But we'd best be on our way. Quickly. Pendleton said he would meet us here. I checked the wine cellar. Losing family gives a man a thirst. build something for you? I can make anything, practically. I told you to enjoy. Attention, Dunwall. You did it. And now we've done away with a woman and a noble woman at that. But Boyle was a viper. She helped the Lord Regent kill the Empress. So I don't feel a thing for her. Personally, I heard you upheld my name in a rather spectacular style and at some risk to yourself. I want to thank you for it. This little item has been helpful to my family over the generations. But I think you'll find more use for it than I ever will. Go on. Take it. You've had a long night, Corvo. But I fear it's not over. Havelock and Martin have already cooked up something more for you. They would like to see you now. In Havelock's chambers above the bar. Attention, Dunwall citizens. The streets adjacent to Boyle Manor remain... Corvo, the time has come. Everything we have done, everything that you have done, has served to make this moment possible. The Lord Regent is exposed, Corvo. Vulnerable. And now everything is in place to strike at him. But one step from the throne. One man, one beating heart, is all that's left of the forces that brought this city to the brink of ruin. It is simple, but it will be far from easy. The Lord Regent's paranoia has reached an all-time high. He has lost the support of the Overseers, the Parliament, his financial base, and he's lost Sokolov, who made his security technology. So at Dunwall Tower, he has consolidated every remaining loyal man around him. He knows something is coming. He knows you are coming. And everything depends on him being correct. Piero will help you prepare. Then Samuel will take you close to the tower, near the waterlock. Last time you were there was the horrible day that all of this started. Now you will go there and end it. Good luck, Corvo. I'm not sure what else we could say, other than our hopes are riding on you. You've come very far, Corvo. Almost there. Hello, love. Corvo. 
Emily's hiding again. It started as a game, but it's turned into her way of teasing me. If you see her, will you send her back to me? It's time for her studies. Do you need me to build something for you? I can make anything, practically. Hello to you, Corvo. I imagine you made that masquerade a... Hello, sir. I doubt there will be another hiding in my I'm taking part in history here. Dunwall is on the verge of a new age, a better age. And this old sailor has had a role to play in it. I doubt I'll be remembered, as the worthy men who made this happen are truly the heroes. And one feisty little girl who hides the sadness of missing her mother very well, bless her. But perhaps someday someone will listen to this and know that a humble sailor named Samuel was a part of it all. I just don't like the way they look at me. I'm not a fool. I know I'd be the first to go if they got rid of people. <laughs> Shh! Don't make any sound! I'm hiding from Callista. It's a game we like to play. I remember playing hide and seek with you, too. I don't know why it's so much fun to hide from her. Here. This was at the edge of the river, in the mud. I put it under my pillow for good luck, but it gave me bad dreams. You can have it, as a present. I suppose I'll do my lessons now. Hiding gets boring after a while, anyway. Attention Dunwall citizens, you are urged to consider presenting children between the ages of 7 and 10 to the Abbey to be tested. As overseers, they will be well provided for and serve the well-being of the community and the city.
What are the principal islands in the Empire? Uh, Circanos? This is it, Corvo. Last memories of Dunwall Tower might not be good ones, huh? So maybe you can make up for what happened back then. It'll be a bit of a climb from the water lot. Most important thing is killing the Lord Regent. Built himself quite a place at the top of the tower. Calls it his safe room or something. Crazy if you ask me. Another point of interest while I'm giving you the grand tour, Corvo. Broadcast control station here, where all them announcements come from, might be worth looking into. You ready? Next time I see you, the Lord Regent will be dead. And if not, well, it was an honor to serve with you. He might even shake hands, but then, no, quiet. Attention Dunwall Tower personnel. All new assignments report directly to the duty officer.
wall tower personnel. Mark post until you receive further orders. from here this place makes me sad why is that this is where the empress was killed by that wretched murderer everything changed for the worse after that day it was a dark day for sure but things were already bad with the plague in any case i wouldn't dwell on it let me comfort you i need to get back to work can i come by and see you later i don't think it's a good idea tonight <laughs>
Should report general fire. Everything is secure on the ground. It won't hurt. So check again. I'm going to head down and retire to my bed. Begging your pardon, sir. But I think it would be best if you stay in the safe room with the roof for now. I need the comfort of my own bed. A citywide ban on whale oil is now in effect. Citizens are encouraged to bring any whale oil in their possession to the city watch at once. Anyone caught burning oil will be subject to arrest. This message is a directive from the Lord Regent himself. We must all trust in the Regent. Please, please don't hurt me. You're here to kill the Regent, aren't you? Spare my life, and I can help you beat him. He makes recordings on audiograph, secrets. Some that would destroy him if others heard. Played on this amplifier, his confessions would be broadcast throughout the city. He'll be ruined. The audiograph card you want is in a safe in the Lord Regent's room. But I was able to see the combination over his shoulder. 935. Trust me, what's recorded on that card will do the trick. Good luck.
this city get any worse. Chances are very good. Someone help me! I know you're here somewhere, scum. So... 
Within the high walls of your enemy's stronghold. What an impressive sight you make on your way to face the Lord Regent. How will you end his reign? By blood or by truth? He's not an easy man to get close to. If the Empress had been as well guarded, how different things would be now. Is it just revenge you're after, or do you have another plan in mind? Will you restore things? Make it all right again and crown a new empress? Or will you send them all howling into the void? Either way, I expect a good show.
Did I tell you about the time I almost caught that guy who killed the Empress? You're such a chump. I know that one day you'll be grown up, and I wonder what you'll remember of these years. Will you recall your time as a child with fondness, or were there too many caretakers, formal dinners and lessons about boring old history? Maybe the precious hours we spent together will shine brighter. Time captured now and then with your mother and with Corvo, who was always close to my heart. I hope the season of rats and plague will be nothing more than a passing shadow on your early memories. A crisis come and passed, weathered by your mother and her advisors. You'll sit on the throne someday, and will do well, I hope. It's a tricky life, full of responsibility and peril. It was not your choice to be the daughter of an empress. But I believe you'll rise to the challenge. Stay good-hearted, Emily. Keep drawing and telling stories. And only share your power with those you truly trust. What are you doing? I owe you. You put down your weapons. This is treason. It's over, Hiram. Your head will roll for what you've done. No! I'll make you rich men if you just let me go. I beg you. You nearly destroyed this city. No amount of money will undo that. Get him ready for the walk to Coldridge Prison. Yes, sir.
Is it all done? You ready to go back to the Hound Pits? Thanks to you, Corvo. All right, let's go. changes. Makes me uneasy, to tell the truth. A small fry like me always gets the worst of it. But maybe it's going to be different now. The Lord Regent is gone. The Abbey has a new high overseer. I'm guessing our work is almost done. The others are in the bar. No doubt waiting to raise a glass in your name. Me, I think I'll just linger out here, if you don't mind. Reflect on things while we have a moment. Congratulations, Corvo. Attention Dunwall citizens, Hiram Burroughs, once known as the Lord Regent, is no longer in power. His corrupt and illegitimate regime has come to a close. Long live the Empress! He's done it. Word is spreading all over the city. The tyranny is over. By this time tomorrow, Emily will be on the throne. After that, we'll clear your name and put everything we've got into rebuilding the city. I wish there were more of a city to rule. Most of Dunwall is rats and corpses. The Admiral's right, I'm afraid. Corvo, you did your job while the rest of us sat on our asses. Our work starts tomorrow. Tonight, rest easy. Tomorrow, we crown an empress. To Corvo, the man who served to change the course of history. To Emily Cole, and the new dawn rising for Dunwall and the Empire. She'll need higher mathematics, court protocol, and cosmology, of course. Can you provide these things? Of course not, no. I just think I should have a central role. She trusts me. It's true, she does, but she should trust all of us. Don't you trust me, Callisto? Eat well tonight, Corvo. You will. We'll find this man again. Part of the Lord's region. You know Emily is quite Welcome to buy the killer. You especially. All this celebrating makes me feel 17 again. Emily's first act will be to rescind the warrant for your arrest. We can finally take that mask off you. We took control of the Abbey through blackmail, but perhaps over time we can wield a more legitimate authority. So many dead. When things are better, I will suggest my lord fund a memorial for them. Everyone will work to be remembered. Hello, Corvo. The Pendletons owe you a debt. Do you think Piero will ever want to marry? I mean, hypothetically? You talk to him more than I do. Do you need me to put something together for you?
We're leaving tomorrow, aren't we? I don't know if I want to go back to the tower. I can be in just a minute, right? Maybe a ship. It will be good to hear people laugh in the streets again. The Hound Pits pub will be open for business again soon. And so will I. Samuel, you move like you've been drinking. Did the poison work its magic? Is he dead? It better have worked. It cost me a month's profit. Yes, sir. I believe Corvo has breathed his last. Just as you wanted. You've done a fine job. Remember, we need the body. If we come forward with the corpse of the man who murdered the Empress, we'll be greeted as heroes. Yes, it'll grant us legitimacy. We'll be the men who rescued Emily and brought down the Lord Regent, and his assassin. We'll see to the body, won't you, Samuel? Yes, sir. I'm sorry something terrible, Corvo. But I only gave you half the poison. They were watching me, and it was all I could think to do. I think you're strong enough to survive that. I'll put you on a raft, and then I've got to ship out myself, before they find out I've got against their wishes. Snakes. They'll want to do the same to me as soon as I've outlived my uses. Hopefully you'll wake up and find your way out of this cursed city. This is the one who was with the Empress when she died. Poisoned. Tivian stuff. Amateur work. He'll live. That's up to doubt.
I recognize those marks on your hand. A gift from your friend. The one who talks to you in the dark. Talks to you when you visit his shrines. I visited those shrines too. And I know what it felt like to shove a blade into your Empress. But I don't know you. Who you are, and who you fight for. You're a mystery. And I can't allow that. Here you are at last, in a ruined and drowning world, held captive by the man who killed your empress, the assassin Dowd. Your friends poisoned you and dumped your body in the river. Did they do it to protect themselves, so no one would ever know what they'd done? Or was it because they were a single move away from controlling an empire, and they knew you'd never let them manipulate Emily? Maybe none of these. Perhaps that's just the nature of man.
again. Hard to say. But we should watch the streets. We'll see him from the rooftops. All right. If nothing else, we can cut him off at the market. We can't get through the rail station without the key. This one is resourceful. We'll find a way.
geared for field work. I have a job for you. What's the delay? I am gatebound, not riverbound. And Dowd holds the key to the tunnel and is asked not to be disturbed. Is that it? Correct. This prisoner we took. The bodyguard who was with the Empress seems to trouble him gravely. Yes. I feel that we've reached a turning point tonight. Yes. Good luck on your assignment when you are permitted to leave. who was with the Empress seemed to trouble him gravely. Yes. I feel that we've reached a turning point tonight. Yes. Good luck on your assignment when you're permitted to leave.
trial, you must move unseen. Stay in shadow and avoid the light. Cross to the other side of the room without attracting notice. Forgive me, but Corvo has escaped us. A sentry glimpsed him in the streets near the Greaves refinery. Very well. I suspect that in time he will come to me here. Now please leave me and be vigilant. So you've lost it all. Ruined at last. Lord Regent. Royal Spymaster. Hiram Burroughs. You small, worried man. You'll never know how many times I've thought about trying to get close to you again. Just to put a piece of sharp metal in your eye. But now there's no need. You've been taken down by the same apparatus that gave you life to begin with. Laws and courtrooms and the mighty swell of public outrage. Good riddance to you, sir. So many schemes you had, and so many contracts. How many people did I kill for you? None like the last. None like her. I'd give back all the coin if I could. No one should have to kill an empress.
once here, breathing, breathing in, in the, the rich stink of their enchanted flesh. Thank <laughs> you.
Dan is waiting in the corner. The plague wagon's running every couple of minutes now. We just need to get on top of it and ride out of here.
shy of the last swig of whiskey. You're the masked guy's been taking down all the lords and ladies. No way through this gate unless you've got the sewer key. Only one place to get that key, and I wouldn't go there. Not for all the gold in Dunwall Tower. Not again. Maybe you could pull it off, though. Something attacked us in the distillery. It used the rats. I know it sounds crazy. And then it run back under the streets. So we come down here to kill it, Slackjaw leading the way. Went bad. I barely crawled out. Don't know what happened to Slackjaw. He had the sewer key, though. Fog, and then rats. Rats everywhere. Slackjaw chased them deeper into the sewers. Like a nightmare, something came up and started attacking. Slackjaw's still in there. If he can kill it, I don't know. City Watch bastards hiding behind their walls. Quiet now. Granny needs to concentrate. Don't kill me. Granny Rag, stop. Stop what you're doing. Can we at least talk about it? My knives gotta be nice and sharp to cut into your skeleton, Slackjaw. Nice and sharp. There's my love. Are you ready to help get Slackjaw's bones? Granny has some birthday gifts for you. I've been saving them up in case you ever came back to me. Aren't you a gentleman helping Granny Rags with her stew? We'll eat well tonight, sweetheart. First thing, you'll have to put him to the knife. Don't want him crawling out of the pot now. What you doing? Listen on me, Kobo. Don't help her! Don't let her kill me! You can have anything you have to I gut him first, Corn, dear. whiskey! I gotta keep to the sewerways! Whatever you want! Kill him first, my love. Then we can remove the chains.
your way into such interesting places, Corvo. At the eye of the storm, raging between granny rags and this man who has lived his whole life with a cleaver in one hand and a bottle in the other. Crawling out of those flooded ruins, winding your way back to the pub where you last saw Emily. Where is she now? How does it feel now, knowing your allies betrayed you? Strange how there's always a little more innocence left to lose. And Dowd, the man who killed the Empress. You had him in the palm of your hand, and you let him walk away? You fascinate me. Wanna know something funny? When we were kids, we were all scared of Granny Rags. Thought she was a terrible witch. Then we grew up and figured she was just a sad old lady. We were right the first time. Now ain't that funny? I owe you. This won't even the score, but it's all I got left. Luck to you, Kovo.
No! Oh, it's you, Corvo. I think the stars. We all thought you'd been killed. Except for Samuel. He seemed sure you'd survived. I saw him on the river shortly before the killing began. He was smart enough not to come ashore. But I'll bet he's still out there. Looking for you is my guess. At first, Pendleton said it was time for our bonus. Havelock stood behind them, and at the signal, he shot them each in the back of the head. Just like the target drills he used to. Lydia barely had time to scream. I would be dead too. Except Wallace told me I wouldn't be getting anything. Pendleton kept apologizing, saying that no one could ever know about the things they'd done. Martin was drinking and seemed sad. The Admiral was about to shoot Callista. Then he mumbled something about owing her uncle, Captain Kurnow, a debt. They said it was time for Sokolov, and went off to his cage. I don't know what happened after that. Emily was there when the killing started. Poor child. I hope she hit her eyes. The Admiral said that Martin was right. I guess they talked about it. And they started to worry they'd get executed for all that they'd done, going after the Lord Regent and his allies. I suppose it's why they've poisoned you too. I thought Lydia would squeal on me at the end. She just told Havelock to screw himself. And died. Lydia's the only one who ever showed me any kindness. I don't think the Admiral actually knew I existed. I can hide Tell here for as long as it takes. Do his Seems that no one is safe don't when a man know. is that close to a prize like the throne. I don't think the Admiral actually knew I existed. I was only a kid at the last coronation. We even make it to tonight. You look at this mess? Relax. One of the officers said he was dead. Poison thrown in the river. If you ask me, he's long gone. With the mask in the river, left out. That's what a rational person would do. Not this guy. You have to understand the criminal mind. I hear they had to hide the Caldwell girl from him the whole time they were working with him. I heard they locked him in a cage and only let him out at night. Criminal mind, huh? So what you doing now? Waiting. Probably watching us right now. With that crazy mask on. Closer, closer, ever closer, until. Cut it out. What's so impressive about Corbin? I'm not up against. A couple of high overseers, a couple of noblemen. You could never stand up again. Things are bad. Could the city get any worse? Never doubt. Huh? There's some curse on this city, that's for sure. I'm still trying to forget working in the flooded district. Don't remind me. Before we go, I'm gonna stash a few bottles of wine from the cellar. Take them out here. Just make sure Corvo's not hiding down there first.
know you're true. Get up right now. When I find you, it's going to stop. I can't believe you're alive. They killed everyone, Corvo. They killed everyone to cover it all up. Then they took Emily with them and they left. I couldn't do anything to protect her. Please find her. Make her safe. All his...
privilege of being an honorable military man, but Havelock will use Emily like a puppet to his own advantage. Something changed in the Admiral as soon as the Lord Regent died. It had been building up. Martin was acting strange, going quiet if any of us were near, whispering late into the night with Havelock and Pendleton while you were out doing the real work. I think they realized they were one step away from holding the same position the Lord Regent had, and worried they'd be held accountable for what they did here, as the Loyalists. They would have killed me too, but Havelock spared me. Out of respect for my uncle, I believe. Please. Talk to Samuel and the others. Someone must know where they're going. Find Emily. She's suffered through so much, and she's got no one else on her side except you. Samuel set this here in case you returned. You can use it to call him. He said he'd come quickly. Hopefully there's a place he can dock where the watch won't see him. It's refreshing to converse with someone on my own level. More. Your expulsion from the Academy was a crime against natural philosophy itself. Which you might have pointed out at the time. But it's pointless to hold a grudge. I want... Bravo! Good to see that you still breathe. The city would not be the same if you were not with us. I've completed Piero's work on an arc pylon, but only just. With this device, we can send a powerful electrical signal through the nervous system, merely rendering our enemies unconscious, or they can be reduced to ashes. I've attuned it so that we will be safe from the functions of the device. It will only trigger in the presence of our enemies. This arc pylon is more powerful than the older design. It will function at a greater range, striking down our foes while ignoring us. I need my final sequence, which is recorded in the blueprint for this device. Havelock was inspecting it before the killing started. Return the blueprint to me. It was in his bedroom before he left. Hopefully, it's still there. You may navigate the fields of battle with ease, but Sokolov and I are not as gifted in the same way. Without the Ark Pylon, it is only a matter of time before they put an end to us. We can get this device working, or you can go out and remove our enemies one by one, whatever you think is best. Ark 
pylon is complete. Now to activate it. With this device, we can send a powerful electrical signal through the nervous system, merely rendering our enemies unconscious. Or they can be reduced to ashes. What is your opinion, Corvo? As you wish, Corvo, we will be far away before any of them regain their senses. All is ready, Corvo. All that remains is plugging in a whale oil tank to power it. Will you do the honors? When this arc pylon is charged, no one will dare come near us. I'll make what you need as long as I have the necessary materials. beyond my greatest expectations. It defies description. A device like this will ensure Dunwall's security for a century. Well, Corvo, I hope we can be considered colleagues again. You were condemned, I was kidnapped. Men like us rise above such things. We once discussed a system of signals to be used in Emily's Tower for communication across the river. I wonder if he Now that you've eliminated the City Watch, I can find my way out of here. But there's no way I can help Emily the way you can. I saw Samuel on the river earlier. I'm sure he'll take you where you need to go. One last trip, I expect. Thought I'd find you here. It never pays to bet against you, does it? I saw the signal. I knew you'd be back, Corvo. I knew it. We'll need to get out of here soon. The Admiral controls the military now, Martin's high overseer, and Pendleton's in favor with the aristocracy and Parliament. They need Emily, of course. But if Havelock senses that it's all about to fall down around him, who knows what he's liable to do. Good. Then it's one more trip across the river to where it meets the sea. That's where the Lord Regent was building his new lighthouse. Ought to be something to see.
This is it, sir. I suspect Havelock Martin and Lord Pendleton landed there a while ago and went into the lighthouse. Knowing them, they're not giving up without a fight. I remember hearing the Admiral and Martin talking about this place as where they'd hold up if they had to. Anybody going in has to breach the fort and the gatehouse. Then there's only one way to the top. All I can say is that it's been a pleasure serving with you. Maybe after all this is settled, we'll see each other again. Good luck, Corvo. If anyone deserves it, you do. Give my best to Emily. After she's on the throne, she won't have time for an old man like me. I knew you were sharp, Corvo.
have repented. Neglected younger son, bullied by your brother. Martin, such a clever man. His talents wasted until he found his fate. Callista, the nurse, bitter Piero, dejected from the academy. Samuel, a useless old man, hungry for purpose. Couldn't be with us tonight. Me, unjustly dismissed from the Navy over an affair of honor. My friends, the times we've had. I'm almost sorry this moment has come. Our enemies have fallen. We've put an empress on the throne who will take years to grow up. And by the time she does, she'll be ours. She's young. Emily I could reign for 60, 70 years if she's kept safe. Oh, what we could do in that time. Look how much we've changed the city already. A golden age is coming. And no one will ever know what I had to do for it. You won't tell, will you? This is all Martin's fault. If we hadn't helped Corvo get out of prison. Corvo hadn't been so damn good at his job. We hadn't gotten greedy, afraid. If, if, if. Always too sure that was my problem. Never hesitated. Too sure of what I wanted. Too sure of what I wanted to do when other men stopped to consider. Saw it as a weakness. I know Corvo's coming for me just like he came for the others. Crossing the island below like it was nothing. It's only a question of how and when. But I'm lacking a counter move. It's all fallen apart. All the steps that led us here made sense. When I was young, I went to sea. Took command of a ship and made aimless men into sailors. Made a collection of boats into a navy. Then founded a conspiracy and almost led an empire. No compromise. Never showed mercy. Never showed weakness. And I showed the world what mattered. Will and vision. And not being afraid of getting dirty. And now... I'll lose it all to a man with a faster sword hand. Or is it that he has a slower sword hand? There's something wrong with the world. It'll make a good story for the history. I'll have a good epitaph. In his time, he commanded a noble lord, a high overseer, and an empress. The man who brought down a tiger, Admiral Havelock, son of the High Ocean. Okay now? Will I be Empress? So ends the Interregnum, and now Emily Caldwin I will take her mother's throne after a season of turmoil.
You will stand at her side, Corvo, guiding her young mind and protecting her from those who seek to exploit her or cause her harm. You watched and listened when other men would have shouted in rage. You held back instead of striking. So it is, with the passing of the plague and Emily's ascension, comes a golden age brought about by your hand. And decades hence, when your hair turns white and you pass from this world, Empress Emily, Emily the Wise, at the height of her power, will lay your body down within her mother's great tomb, because you are more to her than royal protector. Farewell, Corvo.